An inclusive workshop on the transitional security arrangements got underway in Juba on Wednesday. The two-day workshop, called by the Joint Monitoring and Evaluation Commission, JEMEC, follows fighting that broke out in Juba in July. It is being attended by representatives from the government, the SPLMIO, and the former political detainees, as well as international partners. Deputy JEMEC Chairperson Ambassador Agustino Njoroge read a statement on behalf of JEMEC Chairperson Festus Mogai, calling on the parties to the agreement to avoid past mistakes and move on with the implementation of the agreement. We all are here today not to lament what was lost, but together to pull our joint resources and to pull up our sleeves to rebuild the mechanisms that will create peace and give hope to the people of South Sudan. In doing so, we aim at creating accountable transitional security arrangements bodies and robust security plans for Juba that will stand the test of time. Past mistakes must be avoided and maximum cooperation amongst all the parties is expected by the people of South Sudan and all of us here today. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Peter Bashir Bendi, who represented the government, said the recent fighting was a step back, but said the government is committed to achieving total peace in the country. The fighting of J1, the unfortunate incidents of the 7th and the 11th of July, has drawn the government and the people of South Sudan back after all the successes that were made at the initial stage of the implementation of the agreement. Nevertheless, as you have witnessed, the people of South Sudan are resilient and the government remain committed to continue the path of achieving total peace and tranquility in the country. Also speaking on behalf of former detainee John Luke Jock said the spirit of partnership and cooperation was necessary. And we hope that my colleagues who are here, whether in the military, all the political, all the politicians will speak with one voice, putting the interests of the people of South Sudan as number one. There should be no other agendas. There should be no hidden agendas. Our agenda is to save our country and to have peace for our people. Thank you. The workshop has been convened in accordance with the UN Security Council Resolution 2304 passed last month following the renewed fighting in South Sudan.